Gemini, welcome to Kareem Star. This is your mid-November to mid-December tarot reading. Please bear in mind that this is a general love tarot reading, so take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, then check out your Moon, Venus and Rising signs in some of my other readings. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a private reading from me, then you can find the links to private readings in the description box directly below this video. And just a quick reminder to you all, please don't forget to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to get more Gemini energy into my channel. I can tap into your energy more that way. So please consider subscribing. Thank you. So I'm going to jump straight into your reading, Gemini. I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot deck. The last few days I've been getting a really strong feeling that I should use this deck. I think Spirit is trying to tell me I have to use this deck. Um, so I'm using this deck. First card out for you is the Queen of Wands and that's in reverse. Next card out for you is the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. So it's good to see that you're coming up, or coming out, should I say, in your own reading, Gemini. And obviously the Lovers is a major arcana card. Got the Seven of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, and the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Five of Pentacles, and that's in reverse, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. <laughs> Got the Ten of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Ten of Swords is coming up a lot in a lot of the readings here got the uh, Knight of Swords and that's come out in reverse. Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. Oops, that's too many, but that came out anyway. Okay, the High Priestess. That's Virgo, Cancer and Cancer Energy. This is the major arcana card, the High Priestess. That's also another card that's coming up quite a lot in the readings that I've done so far. A lot of people seem to be walking away from relationships. We've got the Tower, which is a major arcana card. Um, it's Mars energy and it's Aries. And the Five of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini and Libra. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, so the first card out for you, we've got the Queen of Wands and that's in reverse. The Queen of Wands. Um, Aries, Sagittarius and Leo energy. Okay, so with the Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel that there are... There's a lack of passion, perhaps, I feel, with some of you in something. Um, it could indicate a rival in love, um, but maybe the person that you are in a relationship is um, having an affair or putting you in a third party situation, whatever way you want to look at it. I feel that this is a very temperamental type, type of person, this this third party are very prone to jealousy um, and like I said it could indicate the other the other woman a rival in love it could be a rival in work and the workplace as well but because this is a love reading this is a rival in love this is someone that 
is seeing your partner behind your back. Yeah, got the lovers next. Yeah, they're, they're having a relationship together. Um, you may be aware of this, you may not. Um, it could be regarding your partner. The reason why this person may be in this relationship is to do with lust. Because, like I said, with the Queen of Wands, that can also indicate a lack of passion. So it could be lust, a lust thing more than a love thing here, I feel. But I feel that your person doesn't realise they're dealing with someone very temperamental or someone very jealous. And the lovers can also talk about making more healthier choices in love. Um, if you do suspect that this person is cheating on you, then maybe you're thinking that, you know, why does it keep happening to me? You know, why do I keep choosing these deadbeats, these people that just can't, can't be monogamous, can't stay faithful? You put a lot of work into this. You thought it had a future with, with Seven of Pentacles. That you thought it was something that could grow into something special. Um, but I feel that that has been proven to not be the case. I feel that this person, you know, maybe made some pretty deep promises to you, I think. Um, and I feel that you put so much effort and hard work into this relationship and uh, you don't feel that it's getting you anywhere. It's All it's doing is making this person do things behind your back, you know, it just seems to not be working anything you do. You've tried really hard to work on this relationship, hoping for a good outcome, and you're not seeing that. And right now you may feel pretty left out in the cold, pretty abandoned here. I mean, usually with the Five of Pentacles, um, when, yeah, when it's in reverse, yes, that does indicate someone who feels lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold. Um, but it actually came out in reverse. So can indicate a situation is going from bad to worse. You know, the unthinkable happens. This person, your partner, has put you in a third party situation, I feel. Um, you feel like you're losing everything, you know. You feel like you... Are in this alone I think you definitely know about this for sure because you're walking away I feel Got the ten of swords here yeah you're walking away you've had enough um, this is reaching a climax of sorrow sadness pain feeling hurt and this can indicate a completion you know, um, I feel walking away, you're walking away from this whole painful episode in your life, this whole painful cycle that you've been going through. This indicates an end of a painful cycle, coming, you know, an ending, basically. And then we've got the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords has come out in reverse. Usually when the Knight of Swords is in the upright, it talks about communication, someone rushing back into you, getting a text or an email, someone talking frankly and honestly with you. Um, and I kind of feel this may indicate that you are not in communication with your partner or your ex, as you might call it, may be the case now may not be in communication um, with the Knight of Pentacles, um, sorry, the Knight of Swords. Um, you may feel that your person's acted <laughs> really a quite, been quite silly, quite delusional about what they expect, you know, about what they expect you to do. Um, I think, um, they thought they could fix this. Um, you feel that this person's behaved very cruelly, you know, and they don't seem to recognise how cruel their behaviour is towards you. you know, this is about getting bad news when it's in reverse, about getting an email. You may 
they they may have emailed you to tell you what's going on you may have received an email like i said you're dealing with someone like the other third party is very jealous very temperamental it kind of looks like you might have received some sort of communication from the third party here um an email or a text it may be quite threatening you know stay away from my man you know and all that sort of thing um i don't feel that you're in communication with your ex-partner here but i do feel that you may have had a bad some bad news some sort of nasty email from a third party here from someone who's really jealous who who wants your ex for themselves you know because i do feel this person you know and you are, are, are separated now i do feel this is your ex if it's not happened this is what's going to happen and yeah then we have the high priestess i think you um you kind of felt some things were off with you you know you got quite um quite a good intuition um you can you can pick up when things have really changed quite quite drastically you can pick up on things and i feel this this is what's happened in in your case you know i i feel that you it you know it's, you picked up on the red flags you picked up on the change in your partner's behavior um you knew something was up basically um and I, yeah, you've got like I said, you're you've got a really you've got a really great, excellent intuition, and um, I think you know you've got really great perceptive skills, um, and you are the type of person that does listen to your inner voice. I feel um, you're very in a light enlightened sort of spiritual person. You're good at figuring out people. You know, if anything, uh, the person that you trust the most is you and your intuition, I feel here. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. So we've got a tower here. I feel, yes, this has been something that has happened. Um, once, once you found out, Puss on Top got the email from the third party that really confirms your suspicions. I feel that um, definitely a big major tower moment is coming in here when you find out. Um, but this is like demolishing something that was not stable, not solid in the first place, you know, tearing down something that was built on, on unstable ground, you know, in order to bring in something better. And yes, it can be a very dramatic, um, upheaval in your life a really sad time a really you know really affecting you you know you really pulling on your heartstrings you know affecting you profoundly having your emotions you know come to the surface and unbalanced you know feeling unbalanced but it, it does put you on the right path um what comes after can be a lot better for you chain change can be a positive shift in your life something that needed something in your life needed to change um and yes it's come with a lot of chaos and drama and it's um, destabilized you 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 know put you out of balance but you are very strong and i feel that you can deal with this and i feel that there are there is something better for you out there you may have been overthinking, you may be in your head. Like I said, you may be getting some problems from the third party here. You may be, I definitely see you overthinking. Um, I kind of pick up on the energy of your ex here, having really regretted getting involved with this person because they're so jealous um, and possessive, I get. And um, also they they kind of took it upon themselves, I feel, to send you the message warning you away from your ex. Um, I still feel that your ex does have feelings for you. Um, and uh, <laughs> the grass is definitely not greener on the other side, put it this way. This person is 
I'm really feeling very much in their edge, your, your partner, or your ex-partner, should I say. Um, doesn't really want to deal with this third party anymore, I, I get the feeling here. Definitely doesn't want to deal with this third party. Let's get you out some more cards. Let's see what else. Oops. Three came out straight away, so I'll take them. Got the moon, which is Pisces energy. I've got the six of wands, and that's in reverse. Actually, four came out. Got the ten of cups, and got the nine of pentacles. So something a lot more nicer here. Okay. I kind of feel with the moon. It's all about secrets coming to light. There have been secrets that have been kept from you, but those secrets are coming out. Um, like I said, I feel also this can point to your intuition as well, sensing that something was wrong, sensing that someone was up to some no good, you know, up to something. Um, having your hopes and dreams dashed, you know, everything that you thought this could be, you know, having that all ruined. It was all an illusion, you know, feeling very disillusioned about this whole affair you know about uh, the person that you got involved with you know um, um, and you know got the six of wands and when it's in in the upright you know that's making progress that's success that's victory but unfortunately it's not in the upright it's 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 in the reverse you know, um, and, you know, like when it's in the reverse, this does speak of treachery, betrayal. You have been betrayed. There has been a lot of treachery. Um, and for your partner or your ex-partner, it's definitely a short-lived victory, a short-lived success. You know, I, I'd say definitely um, dealing with this person here, this jealous type here, jealous third party. Um, and as the saying go, pride comes before a fall, you know. This is being embarrassed. You can also talk about public humiliation. Um, I kind of feel this person has... Has, has kind of embarrassed him, has humiliated him. It, it could be the um, I kind of feel they're dealing with someone that's very loud out there. <laughs> this you, your ex definitely learning the hard way. The grass is uh, so not greener on the other side. They're dealing with someone that's so loud. <laughs> they might have humiliated them in public, or they've humiliated themselves with their actions. But I, I, I definitely get the feeling um, that there's some kind of embarrassment that your partner actually feels. You know, I kind of feel that a lot of people are looking at your partner, your ex-partner, very differently now. So if anything, I feel that this Six of Wands in the reverse definitely applies to the outcome. What's resulted from what your partner's actions, you know, what's, what's, what's subsequent happening to your partner um, as a result of getting mixed up with the wrong person serves them right I suppose um, whereas you you're going to be in a happy place you actually feel quite happy you're very independent you're very single um, here at the moment uh, but open for love I feel um, you're very self-sufficient um, financially stable you don't need anyone in your life um, but if someone comes into your life you you want someone that treats you right that is someone that you can trust but this is being in your own power being independent showing yourself some love being open to love and this does suggest that 
there is a very happy outcome for you that that love is coming in that you're going to find that love yeah got the fool here there's a new start and i feel it's a new start in love for you definitely yeah <laughs> got the knight of cups here so definitely love is coming in for you um it's not going to be straight away but might be a few months down the line here um but i definitely see you enjoying your time on your own and showing yourself some self-love here looking after yourself your own needs and uh, being happy being single getting out there having fun enjoying life but like i said there's a new start here on the horizon for you new love is definitely coming in for you so let's get you out some love island cards oops got sunglasses watching looking stalking gaslighting perception focusing out yeah might find your exes watching you looking at you maybe checking on your social media keeping tabs on you but someone's definitely stalking you it could also be the third party as well you know um watching you looking at your social media so there's a bit of it going on in both cases but i actually feel that your partner is not with this third party anymore i feel that that was really short-lived but i feel that you're still being pursued by the third party you know um they're still perhaps you may have had to block this third party because they're sending a lot of vindictive kind of texts it's not very nice um and your ex is definitely regretting their movements their steps you know um the way they treated you they're very much missing you they're getting very nostalgic keep looking at photographs of you uh, i kind of see them up at night crying looking at photos graphs of you they're crying they really they really really screwed up royally over this um and they're they're, they're completely regretting it Got cassette here outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head yeah i mean you may be doing that yourself you know um, you may have done that, um, but I, feel, I can see you coming out of all of that. But I, I kind of feel that they're definitely replaying events over in their head. Um, I've got self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. I kind of feel that your partner might be dealing with a narcissist. Kind of someone with narcissist traits. Um, it's definitely, I feel that... It could be a one-sided relationship where that's concerned because they've definitely lost interest very quickly in this third party because of their jealousness and possessiveness and the embarrassment that they cause cause them um and also can speak of the one-sided relationship that you endured while your partner was with you you know the effort that you put in not to have that returned or reciprocated be a very karmic relationship for your relation for your partner at the moment dealing with a karmic got a love call here kind of feel with love call we've also got twin flames i kind of feel that love call is related to this new love that's coming in for you you're gonna get let's let's hold these up so you've got a new start in love here like i said that's definitely coming in for you without a doubt got a love call you're going to receive a message someone's going to express love to you send you a message of love thinking of you will let you know but i also do see your ex doing the same thing calling you expressing how much they love you how much how sorry they are telling you that they're thinking of you i kind of see that happening as well very strongly sense that they're going to do this um, it would be up to you how you feel about that. But um, I definitely see this new person doing that as well. Um, could be twin flames. It could be a twin flame that you're meeting. This is the yin and yang, the zen, the balance, union, duality, coupling, complementing each other. So it's someone that's coming in for you that, you know, you both complement each other. You know, it could be twin flames here. Let's get you out some romance angels. 
He's looking good to regarding new love though for you, for sure. Oops, what was that? Flirt. <laughs> Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others, yeah. Go out, get out there, flirt. Show this person that you're interested in them too, you know. Have fun. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of passion between you and this new person, I feel. This person's going to definitely have a lot of passion and really, really fancy you and do a lot of flirting. They go after what they want and the Knight of Cups is the more serious knight in the deck. It's not someone that's wishy-washy, it's someone that actually wants the relationship and will show you and make the effort. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. So you've got pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I kind of feel that this is to do with your ex-partner. If it is an ex now, it, I don't know, you may be still with them. But pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. You certainly did see a lot of red flags, I think, um, in this situation, most definitely. And of course, you've got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Like I said, definitely new love coming in for you. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So not only have we got a possible twin flame here, but a possible soulmate coming in, you know. Could either be a soulmate or a twin flame. You know. But it might not be someone that is your usual type, you know. It might be someone that's... This just could mean someone that's so different from your ex, you know, someone that has a complete different personality, just a complete different outlook, you know. Um, they couldn't be further, you know, from each other, they're so different, you know. I think that's the thing about this, so keep an open mind. So I'm going to get you out some Soul's Journey cards. I, I use this deck for a while and Spirit was also asking me to get this deck out for you. So let's see what you get. Oops. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah. You've got a lot of perseverance. You're strong, like I said. You know, you will heal from this. You will learn a lot from this. You've got a high intuition. You're very spiritual. You kind of grow. You evolve into, you know, your vibrations a lot higher than your exes. You know, you always learn from your mistakes. Self-esteem. I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Yeah, you're getting your self-esteem back. One more. Please. What a success. <laughs> I know that there is no greater goal than love. So this new love could end up being a really successful union, you know. Um, this new energy, whoever's coming in for you... Um, could turn out to be a really successful relationship for you. So that's good. Let's get you out. One more card, I think. From the Wisdom of the Oracle. <laughs> New life. Told you, there's a new start here. Got new life. Let's see what this is about. I obviously, I, I kind of feel that a lot is going to change in your life. Um, it is going to be like a new life, um, a new person, a new way of 
you know for a while i think you're definitely going to be single and choose to be single but definitely when this new love comes in it's going to be special your life is going to really change i think they're good changes um this is about growth opportunities this is breathing a breath of fresh air into your life it's life renewing you know it's like spring has come early for you there's a lot of excitement in the air you know um and it's about new energy coming in for you, you know. This new energy, this new love is bursting with sweetness and vibrancy, you know. Um, like I said, spring, it's like spring has come early for you. Um, it's an exciting connection with a lot of passion and joy. Um, and when you get this card, it's a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. So there you go. Things are looking really great on the love front in your future, in your near future. Yeah. So that was your reading, Gemini. Good luck with everything. And before you leave me, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you very soon. Bye.